me bring Francine in here. Another dummy. <laughs> another <laughs> dummy. Here she comes. Ah. There she is. Wow, look at her. Wow, you're looking hotter and hotter every time you come in here. She got her uh, we'll J.J. Evans hat on. Everybody loves Tootie. <laughs> you do, look, you do look like Tootie. She looks exactly like her. Put on the auction skates. I, I, yeah, put on Opie skates and we'll just let you run. Tootie. Tootie. When, I, when I walked outside, I thought it was Tootie. <laughs> well, that's really yeah. good. So Francine's here to do the news, I guess. Yes, I am. Yeah. What's yeah. your shirt say? It's Nothing. A sh- it's a shirt. No, it's a, it says <laughs> stuff. It does. O and A Party Rock XM202. Thank you. You're you walk welcome. around uh, advertising the show, and she uh, the back says, "What? Wait a minute. Fuck. I, I love, love. I heart. You know, with the love thing. <laughs> fucking cock. And wow, wow. You walk around with that without the jacket? No. No, huh? <laughs> Just with the jacket. Yeah. The because. Front. Because you'd probably get into some problems out there on the street. Yes, I would. Yeah, and then she's got on a little denim uh, skirt. Because the boss's daughter is out today. Oh, oh that's, that's right. right. I forgot, forgot about this. She works at this place, and the boss hits on her all the time, and she just torches this guy. <laughs> He's an old guy. Uh-huh. And just torches him by walking around with her uh, legs sticking out of the skirts like this and, uh, and uh, drives him crazy. Yes, and he gives me money. Yeah, what? he just peels off hundreds and throws it to her just for being there. <laughs> Aren't you going to get in trouble with that old lady that you and the other girls live with? <laughs> Mrs. Garrett? Yeah, Mrs. Garrett. She'll be furious. Who's Mrs. Garrett? Judy, that's not a good thing to do. <laughs> oh, that condescending oh. old bitch. She really was a fucking stick in the mud. Oh. <laughs> Go fuck your mother, Edna. <laughs> Stop Maybe. writing retard on all of Blair's clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should rethink your actions. <laughs> Shut up. She's raking in hundreds. I really wanted that guy from All in the Family to, after he raped Edith to go in there and give Miss Garrett a good one. <laughs> right in the mouth. Oh, leave me alone! What a hot rape scene that was on TV. Edith no. fucking bunker. Stop it! Oh, yeah. Give it to her. Up the ass. Lemon pledge. Oh, yeah. What's that smell? Lemon yeah, pledge. lemon pledge. Lemon pledge. Oh. Fez cried through that. Oh, of course he did. Stones. Why? Oh. She was so nice. It's my birthday. <laughs> and I could get a break. <laughs> We're going to play the Fez audio soon. Oh, oh, you yeah. guys want to, to hear some news from yeah, Francine? Yeah, I'd love to. What was that? Is there an article in the Daily News today about the Michael Rappaport bio? Was there an yeah. article about missing. Uh, it's missing, it's missing yeah. right? It's a missing bio. Uh, They're Sparks dredging the East River it. right now. Do you have to worry about ashy knees when you wear skirts? Uh, yes, I do. You do? What do you use? Lotion. Lotion? And that Ooh. cures that? Clears that right up? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. I just know... That uh, people of color have a uh, problem sometimes that ashy knees and shaving. I didn't know that. What about the elbows? Um, uh, well, I wore a jacket today, so I'm not worried. <laughs> yeah, but if you took that off, would they be a little ashy? Well, I put on lotion this morning. So. Oh, good. The patches on the corduroy jacket would still be there. <laughs> <laughs> that, that now Earl has a shaving problem. Hey. All black men have a shaving problem. Those bumps. Yeah. They yeah. get the razor bumps, and uh, there's all kinds of things they got to do. I don't know. Yeah. Earl would be perfect for her. No, he wouldn't. N- uh, you don't want Earl? No. I think she digs white guys more than black guys, right? Yes, I do. Well, she's got a little white blood in her. So. <laughs> well, I think because of where she was raised. Where were you raised? Uh, Potomac, Maryland. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Whatever that means. Right, part of the Underground Railroad. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get you know, I mean, you know you would be playing Runaway with her. You know <laughs> right. what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to give you five minutes in the backyard, and then I come out. Where are you, Kizzy? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> got two pit bulls with you. <laughs> <laughs> honey, honey. Burn, burn, burn. Just two, two pit bulls with a heart on. <laughs> <laughs> Spit my water. I'm going to come. <laughs> Spit my water. Jesus. Where's my mint julep? <laughs> oh, you gouge out one eye, you put in a glass one. 
Just very slowly <laughs> drop the spin into the water. Yeah, oh, that was really cool. Hey, uh, Brian Regan's cup of dirt is now up to seventy dollars. Oh, wow! Right, I knew that would be a high cup of dirt. All right, let's get some news from Francine. What do you guys say? Yeah. You, you need a seat. Uh, you want to hear? You want to sit on Ronnie's lap? <laughs> Here you go. I, I can do it. I think I could do it standing up. You sure? Oh, oh, right. Right. Well, That's like me when I was a boy and I had the, I tried to get naked Julie to sit on my lap with the sticker bushes. And right. she sat in the sticker bushes. And she That's sat on the sticker like. bushes. Given a choice, she sat on the sticker bushes. <laughs> Instead of little Jimmy's lap. But that doesn't do anything to your self-esteem. No. Bad. That's good. Of course healthy. not. That doesn't translate years later into having girls piss on you. Not at <laughs> no. all. No way. Those Stop things have it. nothing to do with self-hatred. Nothing whatsoever. Sticker bushes. All right. Francine. If you will, the news. Okay. You gotta talk right into that mic. There okay, you okay, okay. <laughs> uh, first, can I do what did I learn? Because I saw it on the internet that you guys were collecting it. Hmm. You're collecting the internet now. <laughs> <laughs> we're collecting the internet. She oh, saw right. it on the. I have no idea what I you just said. I guess we're starting to collect what did we learn for the first year of Opie and Anthony on oh, XM. Oh. I believe that's what she's talking Great. about. Great. Yes. I've learned that Anthony is possibly the smartest man on the planet. Oh, wow. Th thank you. Coming from you. <laughs> coming from you. <laughs> Second, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you very much. And the You're moon is a pie. <laughs> I think the moon is a planet. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you got sure me. Is. It's <laughs> what I was doing was teasing. Is Earl going to come in here? Can he stop tap dancing with Shirley Temple for 30 seconds and come in here? All right, go ahead, Francine. You know the moon isn't a planet, by the way. It is. It's a satellite. It's a satellite. Very good. Very good, Patty. Did you know. Well, one of the other planets had moons, and they called it planets no, also. No, they're yep. also satellites. Star Wars, honey. They're okay. satellites. Well, how are they satellites? It's they orbit around the planets. But they don't send out signals. Exactly. No, no. This is a satellite, man-made satellite, is what you're talking about. Like what we're broadcasting from. The uh, satellites that XM have put up. They are man-made satellites. But they are satellites because they, uh, they are uh, uh, in Earth's gravitational pull and uh, some of them uh, rotating around Earth. But they're satellites and so are moons. There you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, Anthony, the Starker Patty wig is up mm -hmm. and ready to be bid on. Oh, bid on that one. And intern for a day is now up to a thousand bucks already. Oof, that's creepy. All the new I items going up on. Come in uh, here and work for free on eBay. The Opie and Anthony auction. The the links on opieandanthony.com. Go ahead, Francine. Residents of New Orleans are being told to evacuate the city. About 10,000 people are believed to be inside the flooded city, surrounded by toxic oil, chemicals, garbage, human waste, and flooding corpses. Uh, Dr. Julie Gerberling, Director of Centers for Disease Control, says, If you haven't left the city yet, you must do so. Uh, there's a lot of E. coli in the water, supposedly. Mm. And there have been four deaths from uh, diseased waters in Texas and Mississippi. In That's Texas? Perfect. Yep, I think it's the people that went over there. Oh, really? <laughs> with <laughs> <in> the water. <laughs> with, they took bottles of water with them <laughs> from the Delta. <laughs> Bathing in it. Yeah. All right, well, that's a big story, sure. Uh, overshadowed by the New Orleans tragedy... Everyone forgot about this story. Mm -hmm. It's the Nancy Kissel story. Nancy is the woman who killed her husband, Robert Kissel, by giving him a strawberry milkshake laced with antidepressants, hypnotic drugs, then rolling him up in a carpet and clubbing him to death. <laughs> ah, that's creative. That reminds me, I had to call my mom. <laughs> Very Italian. It's creative. Nancy, 41, claims that she was trapped in a nightmare marriage in which she was forced to satisfy her drug-fueled hubby's sick sexual demands hmm. at any moment. Uh, Nancy... You're 41. Let's face it. Most women at your age aren't getting laid. 
Besides taking a couple of punches to the face and a little sodomy or partaking in a little sexual activity is all part of the deal when you get married. Uh, I like how she editorializes yeah. the stories. My question is, how drugged out was this guy that he didn't notice he was being rolled into a rug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> and then she just beats him through the rug. Dumb whore. Wouldn't it be easier to beat him like when his head is right there instead of through a heavy carpeting? Did she vacuum it first? She was, uh... Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that bit was spiraling downward quickly. Oh. Quick, more rug stuff. Enough with the carpet. <laughs> no, I'm obsessed. Yep. Uh... What, she hit him with an auric? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go ahead, Frank. You lose your place? Uh-oh. Nancy... In life? Who was having <laughs> an affair with her TV repairman has been sentenced to life in prison. Sounds right. I hope you get a curling iron shoved down your twat, you selfish, murderous cunt. Ooh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's hard. And that's Where SSAP news. Does <laughs> <laughs> she run Burgundy? She'll read anything on the teleprompter? <laughs> something you don't hear on Good Morning America. Right. Very wow. classy. Wow. That's right. Shove a curling iron in your cunt. Back to you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, Francine. The MTA New York City transit system is filled with a bunch of fucking blood-sucking <laughs> leashes as execs Leash, leashes. who should be pissing their pants as a shuttle train derailed in Brooklyn. Says at Mayor Bloomberg. <laughs> <laughs> at 3.11 p.m., I believe it was either Wednesday or Tuesday. Ah, it doesn't really matter the day, right? Wednesday, Tuesday, Sunday, Friday. (laughs) (laughs) The New York Post reports that the shuttle was running without a conductor. Uh Uh-oh, where was he? But New York City Transit insists that nothing, that had nothing to do with the accident. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone on that train gets together and files a class auction suit auction. against these idiots yeah. that are trying to squeeze auction every suit. penny out <laughs> Just let it sit of there. the <laughs> New York City transit system. You have to repeat that last sentence. I actually did not hear. I'm sorry. There's a problem. The New York Post reports that the shuttle was running without a conductor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But New York, uh, oh, New York City transit insists that it had nothing to do with the accident. Yeah. I hope everyone on the train gets together and files a class auction suit <laughs> against yeah. these idiots that are trying to squeeze every penny out of the New York transit system by taking uh. away all man. You would think power. a black person would know the difference between <laughs> auction and action. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> let's, let's action her off. Yeah. Right. How was your ride on the train? I don't know. They made me show my teeth and spin around in a circle. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, rinse and spit. You're, good. You're doing good, though. It's getting there. <laughs> All right, how many more uh, stories we got? Forty. <laughs> <laughs> a couple. All right, a couple. That's and good. And she's going to read the funny pages. Yeah, the kids. for the kids. <laughs> yeah, sure. New York Stock Exchange executives cowered before animal rights activists who vowed angry protests over plans to market shares of a company called Life Science Research Incorporated. Uh, ex- now the financial report. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Life Science Research Incorporated tests the safety effectiveness of products developed by drug and pharmaceuticals, veterinary, agriculture, this and is the third chemical story? companies. <laughs> yeah. I believe so. It went from the hurricane <laughs> to this? Yeah. Because this doesn't seem like one of those stories anyone would really care about. Yeah, I watched well, the news actually, all morning, and not one of them covered this one. No. <laughs> Do you have an interesting angle on it, and that's why you chose it? Hopefully. Ah, that must She's be She's about it. to go into one, one of her tirades. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Look, fuckers. <laughs> Suck <laughs> the ass. Well, uh, here's the twist. All yeah. right. All right, here we go. Swervous. Supposedly, war, win animal rights, charges that LSR's testing methods are cruel and ineffective and that company workers have been punching dogs in the face and cutting animals without anesthesia. Your sister. 
Now she's pissed. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. First of all, this is what I have to say to you animal activists uh, here we go. out there. Yeah. Hold on, everybody. Buckle up. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. If you don't like testing on animals, donate your kids to these companies and let them be used as guinea pigs. This is a lot like the Pamela Anderson versus KFC nonsense. Animals are not people. If God didn't want us to eat them or torture them, he would <laughs> <laughs> He would have made them so damn tasty. He would have given them a brain so they can think. So until these animals get a lawyer and get on a witness stand and say that they don't like the way they're being treated, I say fuck them. You know, this was the same thing they said about your people till 1958. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the Southern debate. I, I'm shocked you're no. siding with KFC. <laughs> wow. I understand, like, animal testing, but why punch them in the face? <laughs> That's well, really I... going out of your way. That's so they could test makeup, I think. You know how they yeah. test it on the rabbits? Right. They put some eyeshadow, right. and then they punch him in the face and see if it smudges. Let's see if this will work on Italian girls. Here we go. <laughs> you can still go to church on Sunday. <laughs> no, you punch the animal, and then it applies the makeup and puts on sunglasses and tells the other animals it fell. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm, I'm so clumsy. I walked into the doggy door. I was hopping. I just hit the door. I didn't know what happened. Plus, he's been under so much stress. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah, more. Right. Why aren't you story. laughing, Francine? And that's, 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 that's any material you just heard. She doesn't understand. I didn't get it. Yeah, she All doesn't right. get it. Yeah, didn't get it. Uh, making her way out of the carpet munching warehouse into daytime television <laughs> is entrepreneur Martha Stewart, who's made a tremendous comeback. Her syndicated talk show titled Martha right, yeah. will prepare her mayor on Monday, September 12th. It will have uh, Marsha Cross as a first guest who plays Brie Van De Camp on the ever so popular television show Desperate House Wars. Oh, MS, MS oh I like your little twist oh, there. Oh, 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 hey. That's telling yeah, the ever so. Oh, clever. <laughs> MSNBC.com <laughs> writes that there's no word yet on what Cross will be doing in this premiere episode. Well, I have an idea, Martha. Uh-oh. If you <laughs> want to have Oprah running for her money, get an exa- exotic hung Brazilian guy on the show and get Masha Cross to suck his cock. <laughs> Call it... Keeping your husband away from the secretary, sucking cop 101. That surely will make a splash all over Marsha's face and on daytime television ratings. Wow. Mm. Interesting. I, hey, <laughs> if Martha takes that advice. Yeah. yeah. All right, before we do the next story, just spit the marbles in my hand. Spit them out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's do point counterpoint. Ready? I be think, but you be wrong. <laughs> you use your tongue prettier than a twenty dollar hole. <laughs> you know. By the way, I just gotta say the one. I think the thing that's impressed me so much about Michael Rappaport, <laughs> he's a true New Yorker uh, through and through. Uh, the son of a radio uh, program man. <laughs> that's it. Huh? No. Cuts off. That's yeah. it. It cuts off. Yeah, yeah. Not that we've mentioned this five thousand times. No, we haven't. I've never heard you mention it. All right, okay. Frank and Phil, go ahead, real fast. Yo, what's up, fellas? Little Jimmy. Hi. Uh, I want to ask Francine what the capital of Africa is. Ooh. Oh, that's a good question. Capital of Africa. <laughs> that's a good question. That's a very good question. I believe that would be South Africa. <laughs> oh, nice. very, very good. good. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's right. All right, thank you. Four Frank. years of college, I didn't even know that. All right, let's say hi mm-hmm. to Ben's Roy ass. Ben's Roy ass. Hey, guys, I just want to say that Francine's so illiterate. And so black. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wolf Blitzer. One one nine six one. All right, there you go. <laughs> that was not very nice. No, I didn't no, care for that type not. of talk no, either. No, I think no, you're doing great. No, Thank you. All. Are you done? You're not so black. Uh, <laughs> I have like one more story. Ooh. Oh, mm-hmm. All right, last story from. Fr- Fr- this is going to be on the lighter saying. side of the news. This yeah. is where uh, we're going. Now. The human interest story. Sure, yeah. Stabbing in Washington this Heights is, of a toddler. <laughs> this is the uh, this is entertainment. 
The Daily News <laughs> reports that a certain pissed off photographer went out and ran, ranting, uh, seriously, this.